sad, right? This patient of mine, a rat picker, has died at such a young age due to the faults of some selfish hospitals who prefer to put lives of innocent people in danger rather than spending some money on a proper biomedical waste disposal system. Two years ago, while at his job, he happened to come in contact with some biomedical material such as blood-soaked cotton and syringes. This, according to him, was in fact a regular practice. Little did he know he'd catch a disease as big as HIV. There have been similar cases in the past. One of my other patients who was a drug addict died not because of drug overdose but by similar reasons. Take a look at how this hospital gets rid of its hazardous medical waste. Every day, hospital workers carry waste out and simply drop it at this garbage dump. It is a shocking practice being repeated every few hours right through the day. Not only is the hospital staff putting themselves at risk, but there are rat pickers who repeatedly handle this waste with their bare hands. This kind of waste could be contaminated with HIV or any other contagious disease. The dangerous waste should have been disposed of in an incinerator, but the hospitals violate this law. The biomedical waste rules written 12 years ago put the onus on hospitals to ensure that such waste is handled without impacting human health or the environment. A hospital that claims to be saving lives is instead putting hundreds of lives in danger through this one careless act.